The budding little artist town of Hendersonville has a wide palette of color and characters, each with its own signature. <laughs> Gypsy is one of them. You know, it's all about marketing and, and getting yourself out there and, and um, you know, believing in what you do. When you become recognized as an artist, they notice your style, they notice your colors, they notice your movement. She has a following and knows how to draw a crowd. Sure. My whole kitchen is full of Gypsy fire. To me, it's just an expression of her love and personality and joy. This folk art is bright, colorful, whimsical. When I'm not told what to do, girl, be free. <laughs> free as a bird. But there is a complex humanity on the other end of the brush. Sometimes it's very agonizing. It's, it's uh, you know, my real name is Elizabeth, and, and, and I, love, um, I love Elizabeth. Um, Gypsy is my fame name. I'm quite the wanderer, the traveler, the free spirit. But there's um, Elizabeth that's inside that's very reclusive, very quiet, loves alone time. They're both a part of me, a very deep part of me. But sometimes it can be overwhelming to always have to be gypsy in public. <laughs> there's been a lot of very painful art I've done that uh, I, I believe that um, the deep side of Elizabeth shows. Oh, I'm going to get that church one, though. It has a crooked cross on top. I don't know if that was an accident or not, but I think that's pretty cool. I believe we all have a purpose on the planet and that uh, God moves through all of us in everything that we do. I believe that when I paint, it's completely from freedom. And with that freedom comes letting go of guilt and shame. You know, I know it makes people happy. And, and my artwork has, has healed a lot of broken souls and um, a lot of wounded, and, and that is what fills me up. I know that he wants me to heal through this gift and this talent that he gave me. So I am out there putting out the happiness and the healing and the light as much as I can because God knows this world needs it.